A level of competence in chemistry is essential to the professional practice of material conservation. An understanding of scientific concepts and a basic scientific vocabulary enables the conservator to understand conservation problems, treatments, material techniques in a systematic and quantifiable way, which can be communicated not only to colleagues in the profession, but also those from other disciplines. Tissues are grouped together in the body to form organs. These include the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, and liver. Each body organ has a specific shape and is made up of different types of tissue that work together. For example, the heart consists mainly of a specialized type of muscle tissue which contracts rhythmically to provide the heart's pumping action. The life of a hunter-gatherer is indeed, as Thomas Hobbes said of the state of nature, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. In some respects, to be sure, wandering through the jungle bagging monkeys may be preferable to the hard slog of subsistence agriculture.
At an early stage in the examination of the domicile of dependency rule in so far, as it related to married women, it seemed to the Commission that it would be better to examine the whole concept of domicile, particularly as dependent domicile arises in the case of minors, children under the age of majority, and mentally disordered persons as well as in the case of married women. The Assembly also decided that, at that special session, it would adopt a concise and action-oriented political declaration agreed upon in advance by consensus through intergovernmental negotiations under the auspices of the conference. Plato often explores the father-son relationship and whether a father's interest in his sons has anything to do with how well his sons turn out. A boy's social identity in ancient Athens was determined by his family identity, and Plato often refers to his characters in terms of their parental and fraternal relationships. Socrates was not a family man and considered himself as his mother's son.
Historically, the low level of political autonomy of the cities in China is partly a result of the early development of the state bureaucracy. The bureaucrats played a major role in the growth of urbanization, but were also able to control its subsequent development and they never completely gave up this control. Writers may make the mistake of making all their sentences too compact. Some have made this accusation against the prose of Gibbon. An occasional loose sentence prevents the style from becoming too formal and allows the reader to relax slightly. Loose sentences are common in easy, unforced writing, but it is a fault when there are too many of them. There is a long history of rulers and governments trying to legislate on men's hair, both the length of the hair on their heads and the style of facial hair. For practical reasons, Alexander the Great insisted his soldiers be clean-shaven, but Peter the Great of Russia went further, insisting no Russians had beards.
Early in the 19th century, Wordsworth opposed the coming of the steam train to the Lake District, saying it would destroy its natural character. Meanwhile, Blake denounced the dark satanic mills of the Industrial Revolution. The conservation of the natural environment, however, did not become a major theme in politics until quite recently. In the distribution of wealth, America is more unequal than most European countries. The richest tenth of the population earns nearly six times more than the poorest tenth. In Germany and France, the ratio is just over three to one. The United States also has the largest proportion of its people in long-term poverty. Chaucer was probably the first English writer to see the English nation as a unity. This is the reason for his great appeal to his contemporaries. A long war with France had produced a wave of patriotism, with people no longer seeing each other as Saxon or Norman, but as English.
The control condition was identical, except that subjects were not giving the paragraph with the false information and rated Natalie only, only once. At a more general level, this research underscores the threat that fake news poses to democratic society. The aim of using fake news as propaganda is to make people think and behave in ways they wouldn't otherwise. For example, hold a view that is contradicted by overwhelming scientific consensus.